Hi everyone. Um, so I'm going to be doing like three problems. Um, just basically, I'm going to be translating each of these graphs are f of x, right? They're all f of x, and I'm going to be turning them into or translating them to f prime of x. So again, this is just derivative sketching. Um, if you're watching this video, thank you. Um, and then, so I'm going to start off by reiterating what I've always said. If this part is confusing and you've like looked at it and it doesn't make sense to you, that's fine. I'm just going to reiterate it and then you can just kind of ignore it and then try to just look at how I do the problem and maybe just try to solve it intuitively. But again, just to reiterate. So first, we should be looking at the sign of the slopes. Right? So is the slope positive or is the slope negative? Right? Is the slope, we're looking at the slopes of these graphs of f of x. Right, and two is steepness of slopes. Right, so how positive and how negative is it? So if it's barely positive, then on our slope graph, we should have a point that's barely above zero, right? If it's super positive, then on our slope graph, it should be a point that's very high up. Um, and then also, our third thing is find the zeros, the zero slopes. Right, this is very, this is just a very useful trick um, in solving these problems. Again, okay, now if these three points and you're looking at them and you're like, okay, this is a lot to remember and like trying to solve that, it's fine, just forget about it. Um, and then just follow me as I solve them intuitively. Okay, so let's look at this first problem. Okay, so I'm going to try to draw this, just translate this graph into a slope graph, into a graph of the derivative, a graph of the slope of the tangent lines, right? That's what we're here for. So when I look at this problem, first thing I'm going to do is try to find the zero slopes. So where's the zero slopes? Well, we can find the zero slopes by just imagining there's tangent lines all over. Okay, so there's tangent lines here. Okay, well, that's clearly not a zero slope, right? A zero slope is going to be horizontal, right? Because it doesn't, it doesn't increase or decrease. It's, it, it's a zero, it increases zero, it decreases zero. So, okay, this slope, this tangent line is clearly not zero. Over here, it's not zero. Over here, it's not zero. Over here, it's not zero. But how about once you get over here? It looks like it's gonna be zero. And then once you get, once you get way down here, oh, yep, it's a zero. So just as a general tip, um, like for example, on this graph, on the second graph, we can find zeros at like the peaks of hills and the lowest parts of valleys. So like here, a zero slope would be there and a zero slope would be there, but we'll get to that problem later. So in this problem, the zero slope is at x equals zero, right? It's right at this location, we have a zero slope. So that means, another thing is, I'm gonna be drawing the slope graph on the same exact graph as this one. So I'm gonna mark down a point like right here, right, there's a zero slope. So at x equals zero, since there's a zero slope, I'm marking down the slopes. So zero slope, that means I'm gonna put it at a zero in terms of the y value, right? So zero here, right? Hopefully that makes sense. It's at the same x location, right? Okay. I feel like I'm being confusing. Okay, so just to restart that, so we find like we found like a zero slope here, right? The slope is zero. So the same value, the same here, right? Because it's a zero slope, I'm going to put it down as zero, right? Cool. So I mark it down as zero. Now, Let's look to the right. So if I go to the right, I notice that all these slopes are positive, right? All, if I draw the tangent lines, right? And the tangent lines, it's all positive. So that means on the right here, it's super positive here, right? And then I'll notice it's not as, it's positive here, but it's not as positive. So that means when it's not as positive, it's just barely above, right? It's over here. It's barely above, it's barely positive. It's not super positive, but it is still positive. 
And then as I go increase more, look, it's more positive. Oh, so I'm, it's more positive. Okay, the slopes are more positive. And then over here, oh, look, the slopes are really positive now. Okay, so it increases, it gets even more positive. Okay, cool. Now let's look at the left. So here it's like, it's negative, right? The tangent line is negative, but the slope, it's not super negative. Okay, so it's a little negative, right? Okay, well, let's go a bit further over here. Oh, look, that's more negative for sure. Okay, so it's getting more negative. Okay, now let's go way over here. Oh, it's like very negative now. Oh, so now it's going, it's very negative. Okay, so we have a straight line graph. This is very similar to the graph we drew in class today. And yep, the idea is, well, that's the right answer, the straight line graph. So the, the slope graph is a straight line graph. Now let's look at a slightly harder one here. So this graph, let's do the same thing. Let's find, first thing, let's find the zero slopes. Okay, so there's a zero slope here, right? And then zero slope here at this point. Okay, so at this point, the slopes are zero. So that means on our slope graph, I'm gonna plot that point at zero. Oh look, I mark it at zero, right? At this point, right, at this value, oh, I'm gonna mark it at zero because the slope is zero, right? Okay. So let's work from left to right. So to the right of this, right, in this direction, let's look at the slopes. So all the slopes are, they're very negative. Right, look at all these slopes. These tangent lines are all super negative. They're all going straight down almost, right? But then as it approaches zero, up at this point, it's like not as negative, not as negative until it hits zero. So what does that mean? Well, it means it's gonna be all very negative, right? So over here, it's, over here, it's like, yeah, let's start from here. Over here, it's like super negative, right? Super negative. As we get closer and closer, it approaches zero. Great. Okay, so now we got this side figured out. How about over here? Well, all these slopes, right? All these slopes, they're very positive. Look at how positive they are. Okay. Well, over here, like as it's coming out of the zero slope, it's like slightly positive, but not super positive. So it's slightly positive, not super positive, and then it gets really positive. All right. And then it gets really positive. But and then once it gets back up here, it's approaching the zero slope again, right? Remember, we have a zero slope, so we know that it can't be super positive the whole time. It's approaching, it's still positive. The slopes are still positive, but oh, look, it's getting less and less positive right, as we get closer. So it's less and less positive. And then it hits the zero slope again. So basically it went from not a very positive, which is like this area, not very positive. And over here, it's super positive, right? That's why it's more positive over here. And then over here, it's not as positive. So it's going back down to zero. So. Okay, sorry, I've got a drawing. Okay, from this point onwards, right, it's all, it starts off as like not that negative, right? Because it's just coming out of the zero slope. It's starting to go down. And then over here, it gets way negative, right? It gets even more negative. So it starts off as, oh, look, it's just a tiny bit negative, right? And then, oh, it gets more negative. That's why we're going down. That's why we're going down because this negative corresponds to how negative the slope is. So this is what our, Slope graph is gonna look like. It's like the upside down parabola. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's go to this graph now. This graph is probably one of our harder ones. So let's find the zero slopes. Okay, the zero slopes are gonna be here, here, and here, right? So I'm gonna mark them down. Zero is gonna be here. Here's gonna be, what is that, like one and a half looks like, one and a half is gonna be zero. Negative one and a half is gonna be zero. Okay, so let's look to the left, this area, right? So it looks very negative. And then negative, and then it, immediately, it eventually reaches the zero. So very negative, and then eventually reaches the zero, right? Okay, so how about this area? Well, it looks very, po it looks positive. 
maybe not super positive, not as positive, but it looks positive. So it's positive, and then it goes back down to the zero slope, right? So it's like positive, and then it hits the zero slope again, right? Because it hits this point. Okay, cool. After it hits this point, it goes negative. Look at the slope, it's very negative. And then, but eventually it hits the zero again. So it's gonna be negative, and then it comes back to hit the zero, right? And then from this point, it goes positive. Cool, so we're going positive. Comes out of the zero slope, it's slightly positive, right? Comes out of the zero slope, it's slightly positive, and then as we progress, it gets even more positive. So that's what our slope graph for this looks like. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah. I'm going to attach this video to today's thing and then also probably post another YouTube video um, of someone else doing it who might be better at explaining it than me. So look out for that. All right, thank you for watching.